Hi everyone, the coolest streamer around, Wolfie, back at it with another video here. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to stream on Twitch.tv from your Xbox One directly without a capture card or anything like that. Directly. So from your Xbox One, straight to Twitch. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, before we do hop into it though, something that I've mentioned in some previous videos and a quick intro in case you don't know who I am. Um, I'm actually a streamer. I used to be full time over on Twitch.tv and I had uh, nearly 30,000 followers before I did stop streaming full time. And in previous videos, I've mentioned that I'm thinking about making a series where I give you tips on streaming. Um, how to stream tutorials, stuff like that, if uh, you're interested in it. So if you are interested in that, be sure to keep an eye on the channel here, and I'll be putting that out in the future. So yeah, let's go ahead and get on into this one here, shall we? Streaming to Twitch directly from your Xbox One. So now, the very first thing that you're going to need to do is you need a Twitch account. You're going to have to make one. You don't have a PC? That's okay. You can use the Xbox in order to make a Twitch account. You can use the browser or you can use a mobile device such as a phone, an iPad. That's up to you. So let's go ahead and go through the account creation first. So I'm going to go to apps and I'm going to select Microsoft Edge. And this will take me to my web browser on the Xbox One. So give it some time to load up. All right, and now we're going to open up our browser. So show address bar. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put Twitch into there. Twitch dot TV. There we go, it's right there. All right, we're heading on over to Twitch and you'll be taken to this screen right here. Got to wait for it to load up. Alrighty, there we go. So now you're going to go into the upper right corner of the screen and you're going to select sign up. Now it'll ask you for your username that you'd like to use, a password, your birthday, and your email. And then you've got to select uh, do the little captcha down here. I'm not a robot and Sign up and you'll have created your twitch account. Also, you can connect with Facebook up here if you'd like to do that So once you've created your account, you're pretty much done with this step right here We can go ahead and we can back out of this completely so let's go ahead and And back out completely so now that you've created your twitch account what you're going to want to do next is you need to download the Twitch app. You can find that in the store. Just go ahead and search Twitch. The Twitch app is completely free. Go ahead and find it and then download it. And once it's done downloading, you'll have it show up under your apps right over here, just like this one. All right, so now that you've downloaded the Twitch app, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start up the app by itself. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we just have to wait for it to load here. All right, so what we're going to need to do next is we're going to need to link our Xbox One to our Twitch account. Now, in order to do that, you need to find out what your code is for your Xbox One, and then you're going to enter that on Twitch. So to figure that out, go ahead and select Broadcast. I'm going to press A on that, and that code right there under number two is what we're going to need to enter on our Twitch account. So go ahead and pull up Twitch and go to twitch.tv slash activate. Now the screen to enter the code will not show up until you log in. So make sure you're logged in first and then you'll get the page where you can enter the code. So once you're on the right page, go ahead and enter your code and then select activate. I'm going to do that right now on my other screen here. And once you've done it, your message will change saying you must have a supported game open. 
that lets you know that the link was successful right there. And also on the other page, your mobile device, it will also say you've done it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select home. And then from here, we're going to go ahead now and press the Xbox button on our controller. Okay, so now we've set up our Twitch account. We've got Twitch ready to go. What we need to do next is we need to start up our game. So let's go ahead and start our game up. All right, now the game has been started. In order to get into streaming, we're going to press the Xbox button again, very top of the controller, and we're going to go ahead and go for to Twitch. And a sidebar will pop up, and this is the Twitch sidebar. Now, you're going to want to go all the way down to broadcast. All right, we've selected broadcast. So let me go ahead now and run you through how the streaming settings work for Twitch. So at the very top, we have our broadcast title. This will show up alongside your stream on Twitch or in the app itself. Uh, the stream title is the first thing people see. You can put whatever you'd like to put in there. I like letting people know when it's my first time playing a game. As you can see there, it says first time Monster Hunter World. I was streaming a bit of Monster Hunter a little while back. So that's your title. Uh, the game to broadcast, that's, that's fixed. Uh, depending on the game you're playing on the Xbox, it's automatic. It'll pick the right game. You can always change it from your dashboard on Twitch, though, if you do need to or you'd like to. So we're going to go ahead and get into the settings now. All right, so in your settings, uh, broadcast preview shows you what people will be able to see on stream. Uh, as you can see, it's the same thing that you see on the left side of the screen here. Uh, view camera preview. That's if you have a face cam. Now, in order to do that, as of right now, you need to have a connect in order to do a face cam on Xbox One. Uh, in the future, I believe they said they'll allow you to plug in a regular webcam, but they have not updated it yet in order for that to, uh, to work. So you're going to have to wait a little bit. Unless you have a connect, you can just plug it in and you'll be able to use your face cam. And uh, you'll be able to choose where the face cam is. You have the option of any side of the screen and you could zoom in and out. And that's pretty much how that, that works there. Uh, okay. So if you scroll down past connect, you have microphone. Now it's grayed out. Everything will be, you'll be able to uh, fill it in once you connect the actual items for the connect and microphone. I've got a mic. I'm going to go ahead and connect it. So the mic goes into the bottom of the controller and um, it's a 3.5 port. So once we connect it, give it just a second to register. There we go. And now it's registering that it's in there. Uh, just a heads up, if you have an Apple microphone, they do not work with non-Apple products. So you're going to have to use a different one. So we've got it plugged in. Enable microphone is now available. We'll go ahead and check the box so that when I'm streaming, they'll be able to hear me through the microphone, those watching my stream. So if you go down, you have your microphone volume, which you can set it to whatever you like if it's too low or too high. And then if we go down again, we have broadcast party chat. That's if you're in a party and you want the audio of the party members to be heard, you're gonna have to select broadcast party chat. So if we keep going down, we have our title of the stream again, and then further down, broadcast quality. Now this depends on your upload speed. Uh, if your upload speed isn't fast enough, well, you're not going to want to stream at 2000, for instance. So let's say your upload speed is exactly 2000. You still don't want to stream at 2000 because you'll probably need a little bit of upload speed for the game that you're playing. So if your upload speed is 2000, you should stream at medium. And uh, well, if your upload speed is 1400, 
you should stream it low. You need to leave a little bit of speed for the game that you're playing because it does use a little bit of upload speed, the uh, game itself. So you select which one works best for you there. And then uh, down here we have broadcast language. You can change it to uh, whatever it is that your native language may be or the language you'll be speaking on in your stream and for the game itself. That's for Twitch. And then at the very bottom here, you can see your account name. That is the username and your URL. So if you take that URL and you put it into a browser, you should see your stream. Now, pay attention to what your URL is because sometimes people make an account under the wrong name and they look for their stream and they don't see it streaming. So the URL is the best way to check what it is. Mine is actually cut off because of how long it is, but it's just like my username at the end of twitch.tv. So that is all of the settings here. So we're going to go ahead and back out now. And in order to actually start our broadcast, we just go to start broadcast and we press A and we're good to go. I'm not going to do that right now though, because I'm not trying to stream. Well, there you go. Now you know how to stream on twitch.tv from your Xbox One without a capture card. Remember to drop a like in this video if it did help you out and subscribe to the channel. I'm Wolfie and I'll see you next time. Bye.